Milwaukee Theatre in downtown Los Angeles where these warehouse workers are working the streets for better work conditions. That story is up next. Jay, the crackdown on speeders started about an hour ago, and as you can see, the CHP is already busy. With 1,000 players signed up, it's going to be the biggest basketball tournament in Ventura's history, and it all starts off right here at Lemon Park. I'm Rocky Theus in Beverly Hills, where tonight, celebrities take on the fight against cancer. Jay, everything's back to normal here now, but a burger giveaway at this Five Guys led to a near riot earlier today. Reporter Rocky Theus joins us now with the story. Rocky. Jay, we're in downtown Los Angeles where hundreds of warehouse workers are staging a protest. They say they're fighting for their lives. Walmart, what do we want? From Walmart to Walmart, these warehouse workers march more than 50 miles to protest the Walmart warehouse conditions they work in. What do we fight? Protester Michael Green says the work environment is deplorable. Just imagine going into a, a big trailer truck with no air condition in a warehouse carrying big boxes back and back and forth when there's no clean water, there's hardly no breaks, and there's somebody on your back constantly telling you to work, 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 and lift those heavy boxes. Nearly 500 workers marched through downtown Los Angeles and held a rally on the steps of City Hall. They want basic yet critical improvements like fans for the 100 degree heat, functioning equipment, clean water, and regular breaks. We are here for them. Protest organizer Crystal Young says they will march until Walmart gets the message. Every little thing that we do is important. Every time we, we shout and we yell, we bring attention and awareness, and people need to know that. We will be heard about this issue. The conditions uh, in these uh, warehouses that move their particular products uh, are inhumane. We called Walmart, but they have yet to respond. We're in downtown Los Angeles. I'm Rocky Theus. Jay, back to you. Okay, Rocky, thanks for that report. Hey, LA, welcome to Tinsel Talk. I'm Rocky Theus, and tonight we're in Beverly Hills, where rebels are out for a good cause. Hands down, sir. From Tony Bennett to Talia Shire, star power lit up Beverly Hills. They're out for the Rebels with the Cause Gala, which is a fundraiser for USC's Center for Applied Molecular Medicine. To look at the DNA, the proteins, and target what we're treating. Bennett says he's performing because of the work the center is doing. And I, I think it's the most uh, wonderful thing of anybody that, that, that anybody else can do in America right now. The center specializes in treating early and late stage cancer and what it takes to stop it from spreading. Their research helps doctors use new techniques to treat patients. What they're doing at USC is incredible work that benefits all of us. Center head Dr. David Agus says this gala is critical to advancing their team's work. And it's about changing medicine. It's about really pushing things and innovating. And we're honored to work with these people to really try and get a new way to treat disease, which is looking at the whole system. I think that David is doing, is thinking in new and creative ways, and that means a new way of healing. The center is only three years old and is already one of the world's leading cancer research facilities. That's it for Tinsel Talk. I'm Rocky Theus. See you next week.